Hey there, I was looking at JSON tags and I'd like to make a, a login video with this. Now for those who want to know what JSON is, it's where fields of data are generated by PHP, but they're structured. So you can manip manipulate this in an app. So I was going to make a simple login form in this. So if you want to go ahead, launch Xcode and choose a single view application. I'm going to call this uh, sample JSON. And we just create here. So we're at a screen here, and we can scroll to our main storyboard. Uh, if you want to, you can just change this here. We'll just drag out a text fields. Let's drag this out a bit. And we can just change the placeholder text here. <coughs> and a couple of exciting things. And then we'll just put our password secure entry here. Um, uh, work. So that's that part done. Uh, we might, if you want to, you can just do secure text entry to dot hash every uh, letter that goes in to the text field. And probably most importantly, of course, the login button for login. login. We'll just connect these now to our .h file, our view controller. Make that strong and email. Okay. And password. And for a login, we're using action ID action figure. We call this login. Button. Just to be more specific. Uh, right, so now we connected all that. We go back to our view home controller and then go into the web browser and go to this link in the description and we'll download the latest version of SPJSON. Uh, this will handle any. Uh, requests done by JSON tags. So we'll just open that up and we'll drag all the classes in the classes folder. And then we'll just make a, a, a new group just for the sake of neatness and we'll call it JSON. And then we can just drag this in to that group basically. And when we go back into our view control at end file, we can just use bash import and we put in sbjson.h. Now we can add an alert view to show whether the user has logged in or has failed. So if you want to create an alert status, I just have my clipboard. Let's do this message the title, and these will be changed from our new code in the login button sender. UI alert view, alert view with the title. And if you want to continue button, we can program that on the back button if you also want to cancel it. And this will be where success happens. Now we want to create uh, properties for whether both buttons. 
So we go back into our main storyboard and we can create a new view controller. And I'll just make this smaller for the sake of it. Now, importantly, you have to do this. You have to drag this and then hold control and pull it here. And you can use whatever animation you want. So I'm just going to use show detail. Now we click on our C gear and the identifier for the uh, create the login. And we can go with that. We go back to our view controller and we can program this. So you make a new void void alert view you uh, uh, alert you uh, star alert view click on index button index and we open the brackets up and a string title equals alert view in the titles of the NS integer and we will just call that NS integer button index um, if Condition title is equal to string uh, at continue, which is this here. Then you may put the statement here. And we'll call this in our NS log, in the debugging log, we'll use the value as continue, or whatever you want to call it, really. And then self perform. So you supposed to be with identifier. Yeah, that's what you supposed to be. Yeah, uh, and create login, which will be create login from what we call it here, from here. So now that's programmed. Uh, sender so and then we don't really need to continue the back uh, program the back button it won't be necessary and I'll just put a thing here oh. and uh, add Oh, right, yeah, I have to do that. And uh, we will just make our UI alert view failed. So it's basically the same as this, if you want to copy this. And failed uh, alert failed. And we will use this here. Uh, we'll just change this back to null. Nil. Uh, that's it. Uh, 
I'm gonna call this try again. So now we can actually add the login. Uh, the code is quite long, so I'll actually include it in the description uh, for this snippet of code. Anyways, uh, I've got an example project here, uh, another one, and it, basically we could just do this. So, add try, we'll add our add try tag first, of course. It's like PD oriented or something, like PHP. And then we can add this will compare this and check whether they're blank or not. And if it's blank, it'll set off an alert view, which is alert view failed. I'm telling it that you basically need to correct what you've done. But if it all is right, we can then use our else statement. There's our else statement over here. We then can put in our details. So, for example, this say uh, IP address here. We're going to change this to local host and you'll see later uh, with the PHP part and then we can just call our PHP uh, uh, json.php and here we have the strings so we're going to call this email instead of username and password and this will capture and parse the data and pass this into here now we have our uh, header files here and then uh, if it gives off an error we can do this here and then this will track the response so when we get to the PHP part it will send a success one and that means we can send an alert view to our alert status login successful but if else fails we will send it to our alert failed and then if there's a connection it will send it to the alert status but probably better alert fails And then to close the try tag, we need to include the at catch statement. And if we include that there, if we include that there. And we got a syntax here, error here. Alright, let me just get rid of it. And this here. So now it's time for the PHP part. So we want to use XAM for this, but you can use WAMP server, whichever suits you. And I'll leave a link in the description. Now, once you've got that installed, we can just open it up here and we can just start Apache web server and if that works you would want to go to uh, localhost and it should load up this page so it means it works uh, we want to go and make a PHP file now so uh, just for the sake of it I'll do this in my documents folder and I will call this. I'll use. I'll open up my, uh, my uh, text editor. Should loads. You can do it. All right, here we go. So I'll open up my PHP file. Uh, we will. Do, I'll just save this 
search and we call this a JSON PHP. So now we can open it up. So if I Z uh, dollar underscore post a and we want to check what this is posting. So if it posts the email we got here, this is sending the request here. So email. Uh, I've got the syntax right, and we can do some stuff here. So if dollar underscore post. Which is going to be email equals. We can call this anything, but I'm going to call this admin at ad at cormac dot com, and then we can add the and brackets here. So dollar post. Uh, password equals uh, the password then we can send a response to the server so now that we got that there we will send the JSON tag and this will be echo success equals one. Now we need to add a login failure. So we just use this, and then we can just use. And rather than that, we can set success zero. And outside that else here, we can just set else. Uh, success zero again and then we can just save that and we go into the documents folder and we will go into our applications folder and exam and HTT docs and then we can just paste the JSON file in here localhost like we had and json.php and what should show up is success zero uh, now you're probably thinking success one but it's actually because there's no data submitted so that's what the app is for basically anyways we will just run this uh, run will succeed it And we can type in our password here and username. So it's called, in this case, admin at cormac.com. And the password. And login success. So we can continue. And now should appear at this new screen. So there you go. You just made a simple login screen in Objective C. So subscribe if you like this give us a like and share and uh peace out